Yo, as always, I'm not gonna waste your time. Today, I'm gonna try to give you every single thing that you need to know about any 5-star standard character in Weather Waves, the abilities, the builds, and teams. And just for you to be sure, I'm not gonna touch a lot on the wave bands. First, I'm gonna start with Jian Jin. Jian Jin is a support character that can be used as a DPS, but mostly used as a support. She provides shields to the team and also heals the on-field DPS. Jiang Jin's ability is basically a free parry. Whenever you activate your ability, if you get hit by an enemy, you don't take damage, but you also make a counter with AR damage. This is a powerful ability and it will be so helpful for you and a free counter is always good now for the fourth a circuit this is basically the most important thing about Jiang Jing's kit because when you use it you hold your attack and also when you do it you will gain a shield and this shield also heals the on-field character and it's a very big shield but as you see it's kind of slow to you get it if you get interrupted by an enemy the charge will go away and that's the one con of Jiang Jin now for the resonance liberation she creates an arrow field that pulls the enemy so she's very good at pulling the enemies and she will help a lot your main DPS especially if he is single target or if he doesn't have an insane AoE. Now one of the best things about Jian Jin is her buff. She can buff your ultimate for 38% more damage when you switch to another character with the ultra skill. And that makes her a very good support and she has potential if you want to use her as a DPS. Of course she's not gonna be the best but Jian Jin is a very good support. Now we know that Jian Jin needs some energy and that's why the 4 star weapon that I still don't have which is called Mercato is currently the best 4 star weapon for her. It does restore considerable energy and it gives her 51% energy regen at max level. If you got the Abyss Surges which is the 5 star weapon from the standard this is also a very good weapon on Jian Jin but it mostly increases her damage. So if you have the 4 star weapon at R5 it will probably be better for you. Now for the best Jian Jin teams you can use her as a support with a main DPS and a sub DPS since she provides your shields and everything like that. And here you can put any main DPS that you want. Also you can put another healer like Verena if you want a very powerful sustain team. But of course if you want to be more efficient it's better to get a sub DPS. And for Jian Jin main DPS you can do a lot of things. You can use two sub DPS characters like Mortefi and Yinlin in the future. And use her as a sustainer and in the same time as a damage dealer. Now for the echoes and the stats you need to go with the Moonlight Cloud set. If you are playing her as a support. And make sure to use the Emperor. Permanence Heron as your main echo because it's a very good ability for her. You can focus on some attack, some HP and some defensive things especially as a support and if you want her to deal some damage you can go of course with crit rate, crit damage and some attack but if you want her as a main DPS and not a support DPS you can go with the other set which is the Sarah Gale. This will increase her aero damage bonus and you can go with a fully damaged team going for attack and crit rate and crit damage and some energy. Pairing that with the 5 star weapon it will be a very good DPS. Next, we have Verena. Verena is arguably the most powerful support in the game. Because first, the forte circuit of Verena gives her the ability to heal every character in the team while doing mid-air attacks. You can get the forte circuit by doing normal attacks or using your ability. That's not what makes her the most powerful character because Verena can increase the attack of every party member by 20% for 20 seconds by literally doing anything. She can also protect you from getting one shot because when you get a fatal damage, you will get a shield with 120% of Verena's attack. But this this can be triggered once every 10 minutes so be careful with that. Not only that the outer skill of Verena can give the team 50% all type damage for 30 seconds. So Verena is a healer and a buffer that scales with attack and she's very good. Verena's resonance liberation or ultimate she will do some amount of damage off field and also heals the off field character. Now for the echoes of Verena you need to go on the rejuvening glow set. This is basically the best set there is no other thing that you can choose basically on Verena it's straightforward and all you need to do is focus on attack and you should focus on attack most of the things that you need to get is attack and some hp so you can survive and use the weekly boss bellborn as your main echo by giving verena some defense this echo will be very very good and it will protect your team even more now verena has more variety of weapons than other characters you can use the comet flare on her it will increase her hp and it also increases her healing but the better one will be the variation because it gives her more energy regen and gives her more consider energy so she can do more outro skills and this activates her buff even easier so you can use Verena in any team you want basically all you have to do is put her with a main dps sub dps and she will be your healer and buffer now let's move to Calcharo Calcharo is a main dps character that uses the electro element Calcharo skill is very straightforward it's the one you use to get your forte circuit even more you can summon this thing that hits something with you and you can use it and it will not interrupt your normal attacks of course it will 
help build up your forte circuit which is the most important thing here now when you charge your forte circuit with using your skill three times it will change your heavy attack or a very powerful heavy attack that does a plunge attack damage but this also changes when you use your ultimate Calcharo's ultimate is a little different changes his basic attacks to more powerful attacks and also creates something called hound's roar your forte circuit now will need five stacks and when you charge the whole forte circuit and use your attack it will deal even more damage and not only that the ultimate changes the intro skill of Calcharo. when you switch to Calcharo after using the ultimate he will do a very powerful intro skill that actually looks like an ultimate dealing powerful aoe damage now Calcharo scales with attacks so let's talk about the echoes the first set that you can go to is the void thunder and the main echo that you should use is either the thundering mephis or the tempest mephis now for the stats you need to go with crit damage attack and crit rate these are the most important stats for Calcharo. so you can find crit rate as main stat or crit damage and then go for a full void thunder or you can go with an attack set of the lingering tunes and give him the mech abomination as his echo this is probably not as powerful as void thunder but if you have better echoes in the lingering tunes just go with it now for the weapons the autumn trace is basically the best weapon for Calcharo as a four star because it gives a good amount of attack and also 20 percent more crit rate and sadly this is the only four star that is good on Calcharo. you can use discord as a start as i'm doing now or you also can use the other two two five star weapons either the Jian weapon which is basically the best weapon for Calcharo or the winter broom broad blade and for his team he's very good with the next five star character Yinlin so she will be his sub dps but if you don't have Yinlin while watching this video you can use Morteffi he's also very good with him and lastly you can use Janjin, Verena or also Baiji because of course he needs a healer next up we have Encore Encore is a fusion main dps you can use Encore resin skill twice first one with summon cloudy and does fusion damage and the second one will deal even more fusion damage when her forte circuit is full whenever you use your heavy attack she will reduce 70 percent of the damage taken and also makes a slow but a powerful charge that will deal a very good amount of damage to the enemy and you also can switch to another character while doing that and this is mostly how you play the character now her resonance liberation will change her normal attacks and heavy attacks and even her skill now all her abilities will deal even more damage with more attacks this is basically her in a nutshell now the only important thing that you need to know about Onkor is that she cannot counter the bosses only by doing a jump attack and this makes her even a harder character if you give her your time she will become better and better best four star weapon is either augment or jinzu keeper augment is mostly slightly better because it gives her crit rate and also more attack while the other is more focused on attack and of course yinle's weapon will probably be the best but it's not out yet and also it's a five star and as always the standard weapon will be very good on her now the echo that you should be using on encore will be molten rift using inferno rider as her main echo while focusing on attack crit rate and crit damage as your stats now pretending that this is encore her best teams will be a little different because sanhua will be a very good support for her or dps with her and of course you should use a healer with them janjin will probably take some time but of course you can use her but of course verena and baiju will be very good with her now for the last main dps and last character for us today is Ling Yang, Lin Yang isn't the best DPS out there. He still has good value. I think that he's kind of underrated. He's still not as powerful as these two, but if you play him in the right way, he will be good. The most important thing about him is the Forte Circuit. To do that, all you have to do is do three basic attacks at least, and then use your resonance skill or use your ultimate to do damage and get this Lion's Vigor as fast as possible. So when you have your Forte Circuit and use your heavy attack, Ling Yang will start doing air attacks that are very powerful and very good against bosses and it kind of makes some bosses easier to dodge and everything like that and some of them it makes it harder for them and that's why you need to use your ultimate before doing that because it gives you 50% glacial damage bonus his outro skill does a lot of damage so take that in consideration main dps characters aren't very hard to understand for now at least and like Encore, he's not complicated. All you have to do is understand that Forte Circuit changes all your abilities and will make you deal more mid-air damage. Use your ultimate before doing that and that's how you make him work. Now you need to use Freezing Frost as his echo set and the best thing about him is that he used the Lampilum and Marriott which is actually one of the most fun echoes to use so be sure to use it as his main echo, try to aim for crit rate or crit damage or attack 
as your main stats as always so you can deal as much damage as possible but also you can go with the five piece of attack if i get lingyan now i don't have a lot of the glacier one so i will probably be using the sonata effect so i will probably be using the lingering tunes because i have more echoes for it now the holo mirage is the best four star weapon for him now and you can actually get it from gian's banner but you also can use stone art for more crit rate and also of course his best weapon is the standard weapon this is more suitable for him than Jian Jin, and i really hope that i actually helped you today and if you think that i deserve to subscribe a like on the video it will be very appreciated anyway that was the video bye bye